It's another adventure. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fall. I have a new canoe from Novacraft. And Chris, the owner of Novacraft, is with me because he doesn't trust me with the new canoe. Okay, he'll talk about this at the camp. We also have Tim Foley. Mr. Baxter's going with us as well. All right, here we go. Chris, what will happen if I scratch it? all my worries I prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on So it's low water, it's fall. <laughs> and uh, look at what we gotta go through. And I, I said, Chris, it's fine. And Chris said, you do know this is a brand new boat. <laughs> what could go wrong? What do you think, Andy? Hold my beer. <laughs> ah, yes, it's fun paddling with Kevin. Making me do all the work. <laughs> I'm with Andy. Andy's sleeping with, with, with me tonight. Hello. And uh, can you show us um, your mat like mattress you brought? It's, it's, are you going to make fun of me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> there we go. That's insane. Thick. Cushy. And that's just your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Hey, this is our first uh, portage trip of the season. Yeah, that, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cut this out. It's like a, there's work when you get to one end and you have to get to the other end. It's uh, the bits in between aren't as fun as I remember. And can you tell me why you and um, Tim kept dry feet and Chris and I are soaking wet? Well, you showed us uh, where to go on the route here. Uh, well, basically not to go. So we, if they're going left, let's go right. And, oh, look at that. We're through. They're, they're cursing at each other still. That's, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, Chris, um, yeah. uh, you didn't bring a new boat, did you? That, you know, you didn't want to get scratched up today? Uh, I did. Yeah? Just, you know, just to show it off a little bit. I, I noticed you're drawing your socks out as well. Yeah, so my canoe partner, <laughs> who I thought was an expert and would keep my feet dry. Actually, the first, first portage, we were knee deep. Thanks, Kevin. I didn't know there was no water in the creek. I thought there would be water in the creek. <laughs> yeah, well, there was water in the creek. We were in it, don't you remember? <laughs> but that's okay. What did you bring for fire starter? Oh yeah, this is my this this should work well. I've kept it dry. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Jeez. So you get fire shower and toilet paper all in one. It might be a little rough, but it's true.
tell us about this. It's all brand new. What's going on? Well, we just wanted to, 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 to spin off a, an old favorite. We've, uh, we've taken our tough stuff, which is basalt and negra material, and we've just taken the pigment out. So we're doing a clear coat like we do on our blue steel and our aramid boats. So why? It's actually very cool looking, and you still have the great performance of the tough stuff. The other greatest thing is if uh, you can't afford a blue steel, we have something that's at a better price point. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. When did this epiphany happen? We had done a few at customer requests over the last couple of years, and then uh, actually our sales team thought it would be great to, uh, to push it more because there was some demand for it. So when you say demand, who was the ones that wanted it? Like what, what, what was the clientele? So um, dealers took an interest of it first, and as they're showing it off to, uh, to some of their clients that are coming to the store, they're saying, oh, that looks great. I want one of those. When they say we wanted one of those, what was the, the gleam in their eye? Was it because uh, of just is different? Yeah, it's a, I think it has a, it's a cool finish. It, up close, it, you can see the, the, the material and the, and the pattern, and from a distance, it's kind of a, a gray color. So explain that difference, though. Is, is you basically have your tough stuff that you can see through, and then when it, it's reflective, it's actually gray, but it's not gray, is it? It's not gray, it's just the, because the strands are small and they're black and the white at a distance it kind of blends and makes it look gray to the eye. And then we've got some reflection off the lake. It picks it up a bit more. And, and when you saw that, you would say, wow, like, that's kind of cool and, and different. I think the whole thing is that you're doing something that, that's different. The material's not different. People are going to think that it's actually more lightweight. Uh, it, it's, it, it's the whole new material, new design, it's not, but you've done the old Prospector with the same material, but different look. So it, it's, it's a, a newer theme on, on a tried and true Prospector 16. Uh, it, the, the material has been proven over the last few years as well, and we just decided to uh, take the pigment out and make it a clear boat and, and show it off a bit more. So uh, this particular one that we brought out was a, was a, a Prospector 16. Um, we've done it up a little bit differently from a marketing perspective. We've added some skid plates to it and uh, web seating uh, in an effort to, to, to streamline it for dealers and, and some of the folks on the floor. But we can also offer it in, uh, in all of our, our uh, um, different models. Now what's really interesting, it, 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 you are in the wilderness right now and you're doing this and the wind's coming and, and there's just pine needles falling on you and, and you're really in the element. Uh, what was it like to try it out for the first time on, on this trip? Well, it's, I mean it's a great performing boat so that, that's, uh, that's a big part of it. It's a tried and true uh, canoe. Uh, of course it's great to, to paddle out in the wilderness. My first time paddling with Kevin which is an adventure in itself. So we brought the, the boat in under you know regular circumstances of trying to get to the backcountry. At least that's what it was supposed to be. Um, the water levels were low and so as we're, we're pulling the boat over the rocks it, uh, it made me cringe a little bit because we hadn't really had a chance to get some great shots of it yet. But it was a true test of the boat. You know, uh, performance in, in the backcountry uh, where it shines. Yeah, and what better way to uh, to see the boat rather than being in the in the shop taking pictures in the in the uh, uh, plant where we're out in its natural environment. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Feels great to be out. This is a, a beautiful a beautiful spot. Great company. Uh, even Kevin. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> Or not, you know, coming to the back country with with Kevin, uh, you know, I thought I was coming out with uh, with an expert in all things uh, canoeing and back country, and and I'm finding that behind the scenes, there are a few things left to be desired, like gunnel grabbing when the boat rocks a little bit. Uh, well, the rest will be between him and I. Andy Baxter is a saint. The amount of time he has survived Kevin uh, astounds me, but it was really a pleasure to be out with him. Is that a new chair? That's a new chair. No, that's my old chair. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just... We did portage today, you know that, right? 
yeah, you you sprung that on me on the last minute. It's like, well, wait a minute. We're, you know that portage-free book that I'm writing, Andy? Well, this isn't one of the trips for that. <laughs> We're out with Tim Foley as well, and uh, he loves to keep the knives sharp around the camp. Um, very impressive. Um, you can see that uh, some of the hair has been removed to test his knives, and some of the hair from the back of Kevin's head has been removed to test his knives. Kevin wanted a bald spot to fit in with his look. We're sitting around the fire and I lean my head against the, the tree with full of sap. Look at it. It's bad too. Look at it. Can you cut it out? Sure. Ah! Oh my god! Seriously? Ah! <laughs> it's got a lot of gray hair. Oh, it's right to the scalp. You want me to try and go closer? No! <laughs> <laughs> right to the wood! <laughs> How am I going to get rid of that? Yeah, well, when I get back to the shop, uh, I'm going to gather all the folks, the team that, that built this boat and will build future boats, and let them know how proud I am of the product that they've produced. Um, it, it's, it's really not just a work of art, but uh, a useful backcountry canoe. A fancy pork. Oh, look at that. I know it's fancy pork because it's got the bone as a handle. That's why you know it's fancy because it's got the bone as a handle. Okay, so now I'm gonna. What? You put more wood? No, I'm well, I turning. I think you had enough embers. No, no. Oh. I don't have enough embers to cook in Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, Get no, out of my kitchen. No, I no, I gotta wait. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. It's not ready. You can't cooking. cook on fire. It's gotta be coals. I know, I know, but you would not. You you did not have enough embers to. You wouldn't have properly cooked that meat on what you had. That's to what you say. <laughs> we get along great I'm out here. Nearly trying to help. <laughs> I'm just nearly trying to help. I find it funny that so Chris is in the background right there. There, there, there he is. There, first trip uh, with us, <laughs> and I think he's like. I didn't see this in the videos I, on your YouTube I channel. Think, I go home and redraft the business plan. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Kevin's going to be paddling Nova Craft Canoe anymore. <laughs> I mean, he, he said, Kevin, I got a great idea. I got a new boat, uh, a new material. Looks beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's uh, go and uh, test it out. And, and uh, you wanted to go to Fanshawe Lake. I was like, no, no, no. Let's uh, do something real. And it was actually Andy that told me this. He goes, no, we got to throw packs in it. We, we got to pallet through the bush just to see, you know, that's a test drive, right? <laughs> the first rock we hit, oh my God. Anyway, I got to cook. Well, I can't cook now because you put too much fire. Give it, give it 10 minutes and you'll be good to go. Okay. Give it a chance for that stuff to thaw out of it, right? Okay, I'm going to have a scotch. There you go. Look, I can just do that. That's still too much flavor. I, I was just going to say, man, it's still kind of... Uh... <laughs> Cut. Cut. I thought I was coming out with the experts. See, now you're one of us. <laughs> Andy, I'm too busy filming to to, res the, to yeah. rescue. To save, yeah. To save the dinner. You're our hero. Isn't this typical, eh? Kevin's on dinner duty, but. Oh, Andy, I need to film, though. Can you please handle looking after dinner? It Just is, while I film, that is. And, you know, I don't even have the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the evil genius that you are. <laughs> How did it turn out, Tim? Well, it looks good. Looks awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We have four hungry men and one jealous dog. Exactly. I, I didn't. I missed that part of the. We uh, put it in the. Did you put it in the van? I don't know. 
I never got handed one. So <laughs> okay, it's, it's, in, it's in your van. Then. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's going on? I feel left out. <laughs> Look, I'm. St I got a Novacraft mug, kinda. <laughs> Chris was good enough to give us all a mug, and uh, I didn't realize till now that it's probably sitting in on the seat in my van. So I'm gonna have to use my old Timmy's mug. It's not as good as a Novacraft. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> You've probably done that to some of the Christmas gifts I've given you. <laughs> you left it on top of the car as I drove out. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Mm, coffee. So it's a nice morning, is it? Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah? You know, it's not, uh, it's got a little nip to it, but it's not cold. It rained all night, but it's not raining now. Rained lightly off yeah. and on, yeah. Did I snore? No, you uh, you didn't snore, you just made this sound like you were... <laughs> well, he'll be dead soon, I thought, so... Okay, another shout out to my uh, friends of Bridge North Deli for the bacon. They pre-cook it and then they vacuum seal it for just me <laughs> not really if you're a canoeist just say you're a canoeist though you have to say you're a canoeist then they'll do it you don't say you're a canoeist. if you say you're a kayaker they won't do it just saying if you're a backpacker they'll probably feel sorry for you and do it as well but what about a double blade a double blade chris from Novacraft brings out the, the debate of the morning gotta go We're looking for fruit, hanging fruit, and we will harvest the fruit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> we found the hanging fruit. <laughs> we better leave now, Kevin. <laughs> Does he always have naps on trip? <laughs> we, made, we made a horrible mistake. I think he still likes us. I'm sure he does. We are quite likable. <laughs> Okay, things are happening in camp. Things are happening. It, it, it's, it's getting dark, getting cold. <laughs> uh, Tim's making dinner tonight. Look, he's going nuts trying to get going. Um, Andy. Hello. Andy's just being Andy. <laughs> I just, I put on the chapeau. Wait a minute. All right, so uh, we do this uh, uh, um, every night on, on trip. What was the best part of your day today? Mm, seeing the Prospector 16 floating out in the morning light. Ooh. All right. Tim, Yeah. what was the best part of your day? Uh, that little nap in the hammock this afternoon. <laughs> that hit the spot. Yeah? Yeah. Well, hey, the day's not done yet. But that, that was a high moment for sure. Okay. Angel. What was the best part of your day? Kissing the fish. Well, Kevin, it was just like being around with you guys because you're just super. I just love every moment of it. And I, you know what? I can smell the fish you just caught on your hand. <laughs> I love that too. I just love 
you catching a fish and I can smell it and kiss it before you let it go. But, but you know, the best part really was just having Andy here. You know, Andy is just special like, in, in more ways than one. And I just love, he, he pets me more than you do, loves me more than you do. And yeah, I'm going home with him. What was the best part of your day? <laughs> just being with Angel. We bonded. <laughs> Angel's my new best friend. What are we having for supper? Uh, pasta, pasta dish. Pasta with stuff. Okay. Yummy stuff? Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got? Yummy stuff with goodness on top? That's it. All right, uh, you gotta talk about your hat, okay? This is, it's not new. You've worn this before, haven't you? I'm not sure if I've uh -huh. had this on trip, but uh, this is um, a hat that I actually got for my uh, Voyageur, um, you know, regalia that I wear, uh, that, I, that I used to wear at uh, Fort William Historic Park when I volunteered there. And so, this was before I met you. These were these were the good times, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, you know, they got better after I met you. I I meant to say, you know, didn't want to imply anything. I didn't know you did that actually. Of all the years I've known you. Really, really. Well, maybe you told me one night, but I just didn't listen. You were like, yeah, it's not important. <laughs> You're boring me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about more about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're doing the garlic now. Uh -huh. Okay. Trust me, it'll all be worth it. Oh, you're a good cook. What do you think of this roughing it? No, oh, this is good roughing it. Guys, it's raining. What? I see blue sky over there. Are you making this up, Mr. Callan? It's raining, I'm not making it up. Is this a story? <laughs> it was spitting for like 20 seconds. <laughs> That's a storm. <laughs> Hurricane winds a, came in. A tempest. Yes. <laughs> The, uh, uh, it was supposed to be clear tonight, minus two, minus three. Right now it's raining and not that cold. Well, it's cold because you could, you got a hat on. It's cooling down. Yeah, you can feel the wind it. Wind eh? is cooled mm -hmm. yeah. over the last uh, couple hours. You feel it in your bones. And and those raindrops, why are they so white? This should never see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Back, forward. No, forward for forward? sure. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yeah, forward for <laughs> sure. Absolutely forward for sure. Don't put it to the side. Yeah, yeah. That's not right. <laughs> I gotta you know, spin this a wee bit off the side. He's a true voyageur now. There we go. How's that look? Okay.
Your first snowflake of the winter. I think that was an ash from the fire. <laughs> I met an old man. I said, Tell me your story. Got an old pen and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other So Andy, we're turning tail, we're going home. Yes, the snow chased us out of the woods this morning. <laughs> Hurry, get out! 
Somebody jokingly said yesterday, oh, let's stay out until the snow flies. Well, they got their wish this morning. <laughs>